What's up YouTube and welcome to this Legends of Tomorrow zombie spooky episode. Now part of me feels that we should have probably switched around the Arrowverse episode this week and put this on Halloween. But alas, they did not. But it was an interesting episode. We got some interesting things. We got to see the rest of Barry's sort of message that he's left. And we also got to learn more about Vixen. And we got one half of Firestorm stuck in some sort of sticky wicket. So let's have a look. Now, we got the rest of this message. And it's saying that a war is coming in this really weird armory. So it's understandable why Rip Hunter kept this quiet. Because it could possibly screw up the time stream. We know how time works and really it's probably come through perhaps early on or sometime during the first season and this was kept secret and we know that rip hunter was a stickler for time staying the way it is so well it's pretty interesting as to what this could be i would say that it is the dominators the big season event that will be happening over four nights showing the whole thing so that's going to be mad crazy and i think that this is the warning and this is the start where they start to unlock it and i expect they'll probably reveal it when rip hunter somehow comes back or when they find him well he's got a lot to answer for so it's interesting that they chose barry to be the person to relay this message and i'm hoping we get to see some kind of old Barry like we did with Ollie in the other episode you know where we got to see Connor and we got to see all the ravage of time so it'd be really cool to see an old Barry a, a grizzled war veteran so I think this will probably be the catalyst we'll probably get to see the legends go to this time and see what is happening and what they have to stop in this episode I really like the fact that Ray Palmer was the one for once left back on the ship because you know he's got no superpowers now he's super smart and i'm sure he knows a lot about history but nate is now history man i'm going to call him a sort of citizen still but we got to see ray palmer and his most vulnerable obviously he had to destroy his armor and i'm wondering when he's going to get a new armor built for the show now it took him quite a long time to build it but I would have thought that all that time was him working out how it works, etc. So surely he can easily build another one, I would say. I would say easily, but you know he knows how to build it, so I can't see it being too much of an issue. Now, I don't think he'll be getting a new suit anytime soon, as he's been handed the Captain Cold mantle which we know that Captain Cold wasn't his biggest fan. They didn't really get on that well. So, and we know that Captain Cold is going to be in the Legion of Doom along with Damien Dark and the old Eobard Thorn. So, it's going to be a cool little thing heading up later in the season where we see him using the cold gun and Captain Cold turns up. I think that's going to be really funny to see. Now, the best thing about the Legends of Tomorrow series is really the fact that we get to go back in time and see a lot of historical figures. And we've got to see the Union General here, Ulysses S. Grant, who I thought the casting was absolutely on point for this. And it was really, really good. It, the zombies, I was like, oh, they look a bit... They, they looked really weird, to be honest. But I guess there's not really much else way of doing them to be honest and that was bad english the only bad thing about this episode the real real downside was the ham-fisted way of approaching slavery and racism in this time period i felt that they were trying they were just literally just throwing out the kind of point they want to make and it just felt really really crap and rushed and okay you can't really go back to this time period with people of ethnicity and not address that but to be honest i think they handled it a bit shit 
Not like mega badly. So I really like the way they dealt with horror on this episode with Ray and Stein. <laughs> Ray Stein? That's yeah. There's something there. But the horror parts on the ship were absolutely fantastic. And I'd like to see them explore more horror, maybe, in another episode. So next week, they're going back to the 80s, which will be a lot of fun, I think. A proper 80s episode. And in the trailer, you've got Damien Dark and Eobard Thorne looking like there's something out of Miami Vice, which is going to be stunning. So I'm excited for this episode. And that's it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And comment below with what your favourite part of the episode was. I'll see you soon. And goodbye.